hi there welcome back to my channel so we're making the butterfly booboo -boo and we folded our fabric into two by the end end to end that's this part is what we call selvage selvage that's where the label of the fabric is that's for laces this is what they call the trj that part yes. so this end to this end that's what we can use then um your biggest measurement is the bust that's for you. For the seven you change it to 48. So 48 divided by 4 gives us 12. While we're dividing by 4, because we are going to cut, this is on fold. If you open this, you have 2. So this is 2. This is for one side. So we're going to fold exactly like this again to cut another piece exactly like this. So that's another extra 2. So the four of them combined gives you your full round measurements. So that's the reason why we divide it into four. We got 12. This is 12. Now, this remaining one is the one we can use for the butterfly. So this is 10. I don't think 10 is too much. 10 is okay. After we cut it, you don't like it. Please do it. You can always reduce it before we put any inside. So let's use the whole. This one part. Okay. Then the next um, says so hold the fabric in two two. Measure your waist length. Your dress length is eight. Eight. Oh, we need to measure. from here. This is fifty-eight. I'm going to add two inches allowance for folding at the bottom. That will be. Oh. This butterfly has no join in here no. on the shoulder. Okay. It's cut together as like the back one. It doesn't have any join in here. That's why after you measure your leg, you now fold this again okay. into two so that you have all the four at once. Five inches wide, five inches deep. It's all the way around, five inches. From this sharp point okay. here, do another five inches from here, do another five inches, okay. then connect. Okay. We've gotten our neck now. Mm. Next will be to measure the length of the butterfly. What is the length of the butterfly? Oh, you know, yes. That's the length of the dress. Shoulder to bust point. Let's mark it a little here. Yeah. Take the measurement. Shoulder to bust point. That's 12. So 12. Shoulder to waist 18. Shoulder to hip 26. This is where I'm going to put the bust measurement, which is 12. That 12 we got. Okay. But since we are using everything, I'll leave it. Mm. Shoulder to waist. We are using everything and leave it. Shoulder to hip now because the curve is stopping here. Okay. So we are covering the butterfly stops here. We are covering it back into the hip. Okay. So I'm going to put that hip measurement. I won't use the hip measurement. I will use that BS measurement, okay. which was 12. Then I'll add sewing allowance, uh, one inch extra. 12 plus one inch extra sewing. That's 15. From here down, this 13. Mm. Except you want it to have a shape, but I don't think it would be nice because this already has the butterfly mm. shape. Mm. Mm. Better for here to be straight. I'll take this measurement up to this point 13. I'll allow you to draw the line. This one is Your ruler should not move. Put your hand in the middle and draw 
You see why I use that the biggest measurement so that you can move freely really down there. Next will be to connect this to this. Come in here. If you like. This is the shape. Okay. So you can cut before. Oh, yes, everything is together. The sewing is pretty straightforward. You start from the neck, you either turn with a bias or you use a facing. I prefer a facing because the facing is neater. Once you're done with the facing, make sure you weave the inside, then you hem it down or you use a hemming gum. Then you fold the hem of the dress by the amount of uh, folding allowance you left. Then you move to the sleeve. You fold the sleeve as well. After sewing the hem of the sleeve, you measure the opening you want on the armhole area. Then you start sewing from there all the way down to the slit where the slit will stop. Then after that, you can now weave the remaining part of the dress. And now we are done. So this is our butterfly booboo. Thank you for watching. Remember to like and share.